when you look back at Battle for Neighborville, there was some good, but there was a whole lot of bad. The first major bad was the fact that this game came out of nowhere. There was no hype build up, just randomly one day they dropped a trailer and the game came out. And it honestly felt like a clickbait trailer because the trailer looked so good compared to like the actual game. Where the trailer still had a realistic type of feel to it, but the actual game is cartoony. And the majority of the players did overall prefer their Garden Warfare realistic looking plants and zombies. And I do too, it just looks way better. Now I will give them this, their inclusion of characters was pretty cool. In my opinion, Nightcap is probably like one of the best plant designs they've ever done. The zombies, they were okay. I definitely did like the wizard and the electric disco girl and the action hero, but the other ones, they were okay. But I do like the fact that the new characters overall were unique and were different. I don't like how they got rid of the goat though, or how Torchwood pretty much became Acorn. That was kind of weird and made no sense to me either. But another major W was the story mode. In my opinion, they had the best story mode that any PvZ shooter has had so far. It actually felt like a story mode because the map was actually different. It wasn't like Garden Warfare 2 where you pretty much play Garden Ops for every single mission. It truly felt like it was something different and I really did enjoy that. That's definitely where I spent the majority of my hours when I first played this game. And if you ever plan to do like a revisit or to actually buy the game, I definitely recommend to check that out before you get off. That's definitely one of the best things. But the main thing that killed this game, the main thing that made all those little goods this game had immediately just get shot down and was just destined to die, was the removal of variants. Variants pretty much make PvZ. They are the life of PvZ. They encourage replayability. They're the main reason you will get back on to learn the same character, but with a slightly different version or a major different version because adding fire on a cactus can overall change your whole experience of a character. So instead of variants, they gave us skill points and the skill points pretty much were knockoff variants. I have no idea why they tried to remove variants, but that was the main thing that had people just really hate the game. And if you conclude that with the other major thing of the art style change, the game was destined to die. Now, when I got back on the game for this video, there are actual players playing the game and that definitely did surprise me. Of course, it's not on the level of Garden Warfare 2 people playing it. But it was still nice to see people of like newer levels and higher levels on the server. The last thing I want to touch on is the little prize map thing. It was a cool addition and if you complete it, you can get different skins or unique abilities. Like how the corner ability was a shield. Even though this was a copy and paste of Super Brains, it still was kind of cool. Not my most favorite thing, but I just wanted to mention it. But overall, guys, that's going to be the video. Tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think BFN can make a comeback? Until next time, peace out.